guys, it's Alyssa, and today is my first day of October Tuesdays. What I'm going to be doing is making a video every single Tuesday of October up until Halloween. If you haven't been able to tell, Halloween is my favorite holiday, and I'm just super into the Halloween spirit. It's been October for me since like December of last year. So yeah, I'm just going to be doing Halloween themed videos every single Tuesday. So if you have any requests for a Halloween themed video you would like to see, you can comment down below. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make DIY Halloween churros. So I went to Hobby Lobby, and if you don't know what that is, it's like a craft store, like a Michaels or something like that. And I got a lot of Halloween different kinds of ribbon and decorations, and I will show you everything you will need to make your Halloween churros. So what you will need is ribbon, any ribbon of your choice. You need a really thick ribbon, um, depending on how thick you want your churbo, and I have black and white here. And also, you want to use any decorative ribbon of like your liking, and of course you're going to need ponytails because you need something to hold your hair with. I just bought more stickers and decorations to put on my bows. And also, you are going to need a hot glue gun and probably a backup stick if you need one. The next thing you will need are zip ties. These are the like ones you use for like industrial purposes. And then of course we need a pair of scissors to cut the ribbon and to cut the zip ties. And after I make these bows, I'm going to make a few. If any of you guys would like these Halloween themed bows, I will give them away to you. Stay tuned till the end of the video to hear the giveaway rules if you would like to win one of these bows. So I think I'm going to start out using the white thick ribbon. And what you want to do is roll out a decent size, it's better more than less. Probably however long this is will do. So what you want to do with this piece is make an awareness sign. So you're going to take the two ends and just cross them over each other. And I definitely have extra ribbon here. I didn't need all of this, but it's better to have a lot extra than to be short. You want to make the top of this ribbon to be about 7 or 6 inches across. And then what you want to do is pinch it all into the middle and then you will see that it's really starting to look like a cheer bow. All we did was make the awareness sign and then pinch the middle together. Now take one of your zip ties and tie it around it and make sure it's secured really tight to make sure it really doesn't go anywhere. Okay, so once you have your zip ties secured, you'll notice you definitely have a cheer bow looking thing going on here and just trim the edges into the like point, like two point shape. Also remember to clip the end of the zip tie and make sure that the clasp is facing the back. Alright, now time for the fun part. We are going to decorate this cheer bow into different, you know, Halloween themed stuff. I'm totally winging this as I go, so I'm just going to start decorating this bow like what I think would look good and we're just going to hope for the best. I'm just going to be taking a few inch pieces of this um, black glittery ribbon to outline the edges of the ends of the cheer bow. Now I'm just going to trim off the excess and repeat the same thing on the other side. Alright, now that I have the edges of our bows done, I want to use these little decals on the floppy parts of my bow, and I think I'm going to put some bats on it too. So just put on whatever decorations you want to. we have all the decorations we want, I'm going to take one of my ponytails and what you want to do is flip your bow over, place a glob of hot glue on the back kind of where that, that clasp is for the zip tie and then hold the ponytail on it in place and what I like to do is put a little bit more glue on top just to make sure it stays. Okay, now I'm going to take the center ribbon that I want to use. Um, to secure the ponytail and just to add that little, like, little extra something in the middle of your bow. 
I'm going to be using this um, orange, like little bedazzled ribbon. So what you want to do is take your middle piece and kind of align it to see how big it needs to be. So this is the completed white bow. I think it turned out super, super, super cute. And now I'm just going to repeat the process with the black ribbon. Alright, so for these last two bows, I did them off camera. I just repeated the same exact process, except I glued another layer of bow on it before I scrunched it together and added the zip tie. But yeah, these were the same exact process. These are just black, and I think these turned out super cute. But now it's time to do the rest of the decorating to this one. <laughs> so I'm going to add a few bats to this one. And for the center of this bow, I'm going to add the purple glittery ribbon to add like sort of a contrast since we already have black and orange going on. And repeat the same thing as we did last time, adding the glob of glue and placing it. Alright, now that I'm done with this bow, I'm going to get decorating the candy corn bow. For the candy corn bow, I think it already has enough going on, so I'm just going to add a strip of the bedazzled orange ribbon in the center. Halloween cheer bows. I thought these turned out pretty darn well for me just like weighing them. I think they're super 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 cute, super fun for all of October. So I'm giving these bows away so if any of you guys want one of these bows, all you have to do is be subscribed to my channel obviously. You have to be following me on Instagram. I will leave a link down in my bio and I want you to comment down below what stunting position you are in cheer and also leave your Instagram names so I can DM you. I will be choosing the winner in about a week, so by the time my next October Tuesday video comes up, there should be a winner in the description of this video, and I will DM you on Instagram. I will have all the rules in the description box. So that's all for this DIY Halloween Cheerbo video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone! <laughs>